the opportunities are endless and they, they vary from faculty to faculty. We have a core group of staff um, who work to make sure that there are opportunities available in every year group. Um, we've just had a fabulous event that took place, I don't know if you're aware of this one or not, um, but it was for, for young people in the BGES 1 to S3 and it was combining our work on reading engagement and World Book Day alongside the, the, the my World of Work Week. Um, and so that pulled partners in from all across Edinburgh and various other parts of the country. Um, and that was fabulous. Young people had to, to, to basically um, design their own bookshop and buy their own books and sell them. That was wonderful. So when the kids arrived, they, we'd put them into groups and um, each group had 20 pounds in curry money um, and they started the activity by uh, investing their £20 in books from our book warehouse and they developed an ethos, um, a brand and a, a, the way in which that they, they wanted to work together as a group. E each individual within the group had a role as you would expect within a bookshop as well, so resource manager, marketing manager, um, the bookshop manager etc. They then had to pitch their bookshop um, to a dragon and our dragons came from lots of different places um, from golden hair books, um, from publishing, um, from local library. The J Academy is something that's been certainly been implemented in this school for the last at least 10 years. Um, it is, it's, it's run through the, the council so they kind of work with us um, on that um, and it's we have a, a kind of outside provider who meets with us every second week. Um, we've got a contact, um, Lorna, who comes in with us. She meets with the students and she does one-to-one -one interviews with them to help them get set up for the placement. Um, and then throughout the year, she kind of comes in and meets with them in the school to see how the placement is going as well. Um, in addition to that, though, we, we, we have individual departments that have got links with local employers. One example is Modern Languages, who've got a link with, with the Dalmahoy Hotel just along the road. So the Dalmahoy link is a great one really, it's a former pupil actually who's one of the manageresses there so she has a kind of um, interest in the school anyway and we got all our third years to do a brochure so she came in to talk to them all and she, you know, what she wanted them to create was a brochure in French or in German which really made my teaching I feel come to life a little bit because the, the pupils thought you know I'm actually doing this for a purpose because the winning brochure in French and in German was going to then be given to some of the people staying at the Dalmahoy Hotel. Um, so it brought the language learning and the language teaching, it gave it a more real sort of purpose and I think the pupils did enjoy that and did learn from that. Obviously the 20 that were then chosen to go and visit the hotel, that was an added bonus. Uh, the Road Trip series started off as an initiative to try and uh, get the kids to understand where they could go with the skills that were developed through school. Um, mainly based around our skills framework, which is part of skills for life and work and beyond school as well, part of the building the curriculum initiative in the government. So um, I was involved in facilitating this by actually taking the children away to the college. We went to go and visit Further Education Institute, Edinburgh College in Grantham. Uh, we also went and visited uh, industry sites too. In our road trip series, we started off with a digital road trip where students go and visit employers uh, with, and from that they then go through and go on to college or university to be able to see the progression that that has. It's been extremely beneficial for the students and it's also tied into the skills investment plans from Skills Development Scotland that we've now expanded it from one to being delivered this session full where we're expanding into health, uh, social care and life sciences, design, engineering and construction and also retail and hospitality. It, it, it makes sense, it's all kind of fitted together quite neatly because I was already involved in employability um, but more so with the college and university side um, so actually for me now being involved with the JET Academy and being able to see how that runs and being delivering the employability award alongside it um, is really useful for then I suppose helping with the organisational work experience as well because again I've only just taken that over in this last year but I'm now being able to see how that all ties quite well together and it's actually hope that I suppose broadening my so as a teacher it's made me become more aware of what I teach within my own subject discipline um, and how that could be relevant to individuals' interests uh, beyond the classroom and, and help them think about potential careers moving on from school, moving on towards a life of work. 
um, you get to work with colleagues from across the school. And I think within a secondary school, we quite often end up in our departments. And that isn't real life, um, actually. And it's really lovely for the kids to watch us working in that kind of interdisciplinary way as well.